If you are watching this video, you are probably using StudySync for the first time. So these are the basic steps to follow in order to log in. Your teacher will provide you with the link to the login page. At that time, you are going to type your first dot last name at billingstudents.org. Then you are going to include your student ID number, followed by your initials in capital letters, so two letters in caps. Now, my daughter's is only five digits. Do not include the three zeros in front of it if you only have a five-digit student ID number. And again, the last two in caps are your initials. So then you click Log In. Once you log in, you will come to this page. It doesn't matter what's up here for your school. It'll still send you to your current position. This is just previous schools, schools that you've been registered to before, or ones that are using StudySeq. So you can go ahead and click Launch. As you can see, this is multiple steps, but once you go through them, it'll be a lot easier. And then you hit Launch again. Now you are officially in StudySync. Now, in order to connect this to your Google Classroom account to make login easier, you're going to go to your name, you're going to go to Settings, on the left hand side it will give you the option for Google. Now as you can see it has my email here I need to make sure that I switch the email so I'm going to sign that out but you're going to enable your Google connection. So again I'm going to use my daughters You're going to type in the exact same thing you do for your email, so it's not the same as what you just did to sign into StudySync. And now it has it on there. You can click on Enable Google Integrations. It'll pop up with this. You'll click on your email, and then you'll click Allow. And now it is fully integrated. You don't even have to hit save settings. Then what will happen at this point is that when you're in actual Google Classroom and the assignment pops up, it'll have a link to the assignment. And when you click on it, you don't physically have to type in your login anymore. It will just automatically log you in. And that is how you register for StudySync.